Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about how to draw geometric shapes in LaTeX using Text Studio. First of all, let me draw a line using LaTeX. To draw a line with LaTeX, you will have to write the basic code first, that is slash document class, and it is for example article, then begin document, and then end document. So these three are the basic tags. And then for drawing shapes, geometric shapes, we need a package called tix, T-I-K-Z. To use that package, you will have to type a command slash use package and then the name of the package in the curly braces, T-I-K-Z. And remember this use package command must be in the preamble area, that is between document class and begin document. It must be before this and after this document class. Then the actual story begins. That is, you will have to define an environment for the figure. To define environment for the figure, you need slash begin figure and then an end figure command. Remember, this thing is optional. Slash H and this exclamation mark. This has a, its own role in bringing the figure to its original position. And I have already discussed about this in my previous videos. Now this is the figure environment. After defining the figure environment, our figure and caption both goes in between these two tags. So for drawing a line, we will need another environment, which is begin ticks picture and end ticks picture. So here, in between these two, the code for line will be written. Beneath this, you can write the code for caption because every figure has a caption beneath it. So to write a caption beneath this figure, you will need this command slash caption. And here in between these curly braces, you will type the caption of the figure. So now the whole thing is complete. Now only the thing left is to draw a line from one place to the other. Remember, this defines the line or picture both picture and caption will go in between the figure environment that is slash begin figure and end figure. Now let's draw a line. Suppose we want to draw a line from 1 to that is the line start from this point uh, whose coordinates are 1 and 2 that is on x axis it is at 1 and on y axis this point is at 2 and then we want to draw this to 8, 4. To draw a line, you only need two points, the coordinates of two points. That is the starting point and the end point. If you see, the coordinates of this starting point of the line are 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. So its coordinates are 1, 2, while the end point coordinates are 8, 4. That is, on x-axis, it ends at 8, and on y-axis, it ends on 4. So what is the command for drawing this line? The command is slash draw. And then you have to tell the starting coordinates of the line, and then 2, T-O, and then the coordinates of the end of the line. So this is the coordinate of the starting point, and this is the coordinates of the end point. Remember, this one represent the point on x-axis while this on the y-axis. Similarly, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So this command will draw a line for you. Okay, now this line will not be in the center of the page of your document. If you want to bring this line to the center of your page, you will need another environment, which is begin center and end center. So your figure and your caption must be in between these two tags. That is center tags, begin and end center, because you want to bring figure as well as caption both to the center. Next, let's draw a triangle in LaTeX. To draw a triangle, all the things will remain the same, except one thing, they are the coordinates. So let's draw a triangle. For example, the coordinates of its starting point is 1, 2, and then this line leads to this point whose coordinates are 5 and 4, and then we take this line to this point whose coordinates are 5, 2, and then we take this line back to the starting point. 
so it will come back to the coordinates of 1 and 2 so for this the command will be slash draw from coordinate 1 2 to coordinate 5 4 that is this point and then to coordinate 5 2 that is this point and from here it will come to the starting point that is 2 1 2 that is this point so if you type this code in your LaTeX and compile the document then this triangle will be drawn there now let's draw a rectangle the same code will be used for rectangle as well only the coordinates will be different so suppose we are drawing a rectangle the coordinates of its starting point suppose are at 2 1 that is on x-axis it is at 2 and on y-axis it is at 1 and this line leads to 2 5 that is 2 on x-axis and 5 on y-axis and then suppose we take this line from 5 2 to 5 5 bring it down to the coordinate 5 1 and then take it back to the starting point so the code would be slash draw 2 1 that is the starting point coordinates here this points coordinates and then this line will go to the 2 5 that is 2 and 5 and from here this line will lead to 5 5 that is here and then to 5 1 that is this point and then back to the starting point which is this one so this command will draw this point. next let's draw a circle the code for drawing a circle is a bit different from those straight line shapes because circle is not composed of straight lines so the command will be a bit different suppose we are drawing a circle like this then you will need two things for this one the coordinates of the central point which is this one so if you see the coordinates of this points are 5 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis so this is the central point and then you will need the radius of the circle which is 2 centimeters suppose 1 and 2 this is the radius so you will need two things the central point and the radius of the circle the command will be slash draw the central point coordinates that is 5 3 and then you will have to type circle and in between brackets you will define the radius the radius is equal to 2 so this will draw a circle like this now let's turn to the practical session first you will have to open your text studio after opening the text studio just copy and paste this code copy and then paste it here i forgot to tell you about one thing that is semicolon at the end of every command in between this text picture environment you need a semicolon at the end of each line so we add a semicolon here then you will have to click this button to compile the document and see the results we click here and that's the result so this is a triangle that you wanted to draw and beneath the triangle you can see figure one this is my figure which we have typed with the slash caption command now suppose you want to change the color of the triangle then to change the color you just need an extra optional command which must be enclosed in brackets write the name of the color suppose red and then compile the document again yes the color has changed now to red now change it to blue compile and the color is changed to blue suppose you want to change the style of the line there is this outline then after the color give a comma and write thick suppose so the line will become a little thick yes the line is now a bit thicker and then if you want to change the style of the line then give another comma here suppose we want a dashed line type dashed compile the document this line will become dashed now as you can see this triangle is empty inside it has no color inside and you want to fill this so you will have to just type another optional thing comma fill if you type this and then compile the document you will see that your triangle will be filled now 
okay now remove the fill compile it again and also change this dashed thing compile it again and now let me tell you about one more optional command which is written after this too and it is written in between the brackets so put brackets here type out suppose we write here zero then comma in is equal to zero these two things show the outgoing angle at the out point at the starting point and this in tells the angle of the first line that is this line at this end position suppose this is now at zero zero angle that means this first line will come out at zero angle and will enter at this point at zero angle so now let's compile the document and see the result now let's change this point the out point to 90 and see what happens this will now go up first because we have told this starting point should be come out at 90 angle so this has now gone straight up and then bent towards its end point and here it is entering at the zero angle now let's change this to 90 as well uh, it will enter at this point at 90 angle yes this is now entering at this point at 90 degree angle you can play around these angles and put different degrees of angles and you can check the results now let me put after this for the second line the starting and end angles of this line for example we put here zero for out angle and zero for in angle as well so this will come out at this point this second line will come out at this point at zero angle and will enter at this line at this point at zero angle check the results yes now this is coming out at this point at zero degree angle and also it is entering at the end point at zero degree angle and now let's change the angles for this line as well so changing the angles for this line you will have to type optional angles here put these brackets the out angle suppose i want 30 and the in angle is suppose minus 30 let's see the results yes now let me change this angle to minus 30 so that it become a heart shape minus 30 and then oh sorry this has become a double heart something let's change it to minus suppose 60 and then see the results yes not 60 it should be like minus 100 as you can see that this is increasing and now type it uh, 140 minus 140 okay it's becoming a heart shape and uh, let me change it to 50 okay let us change the entering angle of this line as well so that it become equivalent to this so the entering angle of this shouldn't be zero it should be like 30 yes now it's more like a heart shape so you can play around with colors with fill option with thick option dashed option and also with these outgoing angles of at the starting point of the line and entering angle of the line at the end point of it now let's fill this heart with the blue color type fill here and then compile it so it is filled now with blue color so thank you for watching bye